I don't remember all of Lucario's moves. It's food. My gosh, that's all it took? Oh, goodness. Hey, dear sis, I decided to be at Lucario because, you know, play by their games, play by their rules, and it ended up working out. Even though I haven't played Lucario in, like, ages. I don't even remember all of Lucario's moves. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find that out as I go along. All right, so I can't even do anything. Wow, I went to a dead end for nothing. Heracles. From the glory of Heracles. Never heard of it. Can I just stick with my current thing? I don't know, maybe not. My speed is down. My magic's up. Franklin badge, yes, please. Oh, gosh. I really got frustrated with that laugh, but last battle. Ready? Oh, boy, but I am ready to kick it. My magic is up! Fight me! Also, I have a Franklin badge on. You fool! Ha ha ha! What is the down beat doing again? Oh, I think it's a counter, isn't it? Boom! <laughs> I love that he just kind of smacked right down. That was funny. Oh, hilarious. So I'm not going to really talk about Pokemon today, because again, there's so many other Pokemons. I mean, I can obviously talk about, uh, this is Gen 3, I believe, Lucario, right? I can go up. I cannot go up. Oh, a Moblin! Ooh! That is an old-fashioned Moblin! That's like the original Moblin, where they're like more human-y, and it's kind of weird. Okay, it was heal damage. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. There's probably going to be a bunch of them. I didn't even see, but there has to be a bunch. Four? Yeah. Favors down specials. Don't remember the down special. Ready? Is that Go. where he goes walk walk? Oh no, it's the hammer. Got rid of one. Come on. I like that we have Skyloft in the back with the original Zelda music. Well, Moblins are kind of dumb in the games. Come on. Alright. There we go. Got them both. So there was something else that I wanted to talk with you about today, sis, that I was thinking about, um, 
earlier. So, you know when you get to that place and you're just kind of watching random stuff on YouTube and you just don't know what you're doing or what's happening? Ooh, what happens if I go here? Opens the door. Wow, that was pretty violent. Alright. And you kind of watch a whole bunch of stuff and then sometimes you get into stuff. Oh, this is the weird girl from Fire Emblem. Poisonous Cloud. Okay. Fog immunity. Poison Cloud. Right, that counts? I guess it counts. Um... And you start watching clips of shows that you used to watch, or shows that you don't watch, but you know enough about, or you feel like you know enough about just because you've watched so much in that regard. Do you ever feel like that? Like when you get to that point? Not feel like it, but do you ever get to that point? Because I've gotten to that part. Oops. And I have been spending a lot of my time actually oh come on watching Inuyasha and let me tell you I never saw Inuyasha when it ca originally came out I remember seeing it on Toonami oh come on can't use that all the time I was gonna say, stop it! <laughs> stop it, Lucina! Um, never really watched much of it growing up. And it made me think of one of two things. A, the fact that I know, I feel like I know so much about Inuyasha, you know, I've never fully seen the series. Oh, there's a character back here. Okay, well, I'm definitely giving the chest first. What's in the chest? Oh, the chest is a fighter. Mimi, Mimi cutie. What? <laughs> Why is it just a chest with legs? The kicks and knee attack. <laughs> what is this? Fan service. Screw attack. Oh my gosh, sorry. I got so distracted. <laughs> so either way, not fully seen the series, but I feel like I know enough to where I could tell you a decent amount about the show. Not everything, you know. There's the little leech guy who's like really tiny and... He's sometimes with the gang, or he's been with Shishomaru and Tensega, and there's Kagome, who's the reincarnation <laughs> who is the reincarnation of Kikyo, who comes back and uh, she steals Kagome's soul or something, and Kagome gets it back, but because she's Kagome is her uh, reincarnation you know really she doesn't have her own soul anymore so she steals souls and there's Nairaku with the spirit jewel and there's a whole bunch of stuff I don't think you've ever seen in Yuasha I have no idea why it's like I'm not I don't want to bother watching the shows but I don't mind watching clips of it for whatever reason I just think clips are hilarious okay the spider has to be Zelda come on give me Zelda oh, it's Pit. <laughs> Pit's another character I'm not very good at and I know I'm not very good at him Oh boy. I'm so sorry, Pit, that you have to deal with me. So that was one thing I was thinking about. And the other thing I thought about was how I probably never would have gotten into it as a kid. Because we are 90s children. So we grew up with Toonami. And Toonami was the bomb. Come on. And it was kind of hard when you're a kid growing up watching TV because you never know what episode you got sometimes. They would tell you new episodes every week, but if it was an old show that was being rerun, you never knew when you would actually get to see it. So, when it's something where it's like a rerun, you have to take a guess, really. Oh, you countered that. Oh, come on, Pit! Oh, dang it. Get out of there. <laughs> Victory! 
Nice try, Pit. So, I don't think I would have ever gotten into Inuyasha because with Inuyasha as a kid, it's really confusing when you're trying to piece everything together and you got that there's a shard, but you don't know how all these characters met, and so you can't really get into the show. And because you had to wait until episode one aired. Oh, there's a jewel thing. Was this all a Kid Icarus reference? I don't understand. Did I summon plot? It's loading. Oh, the little fissure thing. Yay! We can cross to the other side now. Yay! Thank you, Temple of Light. Um, and even when you're trying to find friends to talk about it, sometimes they didn't even know what you were even talking about. Like, trying to explain Tenchi Muyo to someone as a kid, nobody ever really watched it. It was even rare for me to find people who had watched Sailor Moon. You know, I was lucky if I knew, if, if I knew, if I found someone who had watched Sailor Moon. I don't, I'm not being like, oh, poor, poor Boohoo, we've had it so hard as children and with TV shows and all of that. But when you really think on it, ooh, I have to go to space too. And there's the thing over there on the right. Okay, I don't think I can go over there. But really kids have it so much easier nowadays and things like YouTube exists and they've got all this wonderful stuff. And I'm honestly a little bit jealous that they're able to do that, to like watch their shows and hang and talk with friends. And if you don't have a friend in real life that doesn't watch it, you can always make friends online or go onto forums. And it's just, and you never, we never had that really as kids. I mean, we did have like forums and everything, but um, can I go down? Oh, there we go. That's the dojo over there. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Um, and I'm just kind of like, I'm really glad that it's easier nowadays to find shows, find people to talk about it. And I kind of feel sad that I never watched some of these shows as a kid, you know? Like shows that I heard of, but I had never seen fully seen. Whoa, you are giant. Are you just a giant thing that I have to defeat? No. I can't grab you. Every time you jump, you like, there's a shark. Am I just, <laughs> this is boring. Drown, drown. Oh my gosh. There's a shark on the other side. I should just kind of give you to the shark. Drown, you gator. You croc. Well, okay, yeah. So I'm just going to keep doing this and just keep talking about it. So, like, Inuyasha was one show I remember seeing in commercials as a kid, but never fully watched. Cowboy Bebop was another one that I never fully watched as a kid. What? I have to do it in so much time? What? Really? Change my party. For sure. I need something. My weight's down. No. What do you do? Okay, we're gonna try this. And me actually read the description that it's a time stamina battle. Ready? Go! I just King Captain go No No it would have been so perfect if you just gone 
It's nope, not gonna work. No! Rematch. Rematch, rematch, rematch. What was another show that I heard about but never really watched? Naruto. Never watched Naruto as a kid. I watched Naruto when I was in high school. After all my friends were like, oh, Naruto sucks, I got into Naruto. Gosh, this is the best way to do it. This does 20 damage. This is just tricky because I have to be tactical. Let's try that. Ready? I'm getting really aggravated by this. Not what I wanted, I lost. I already lost. That doesn't do much damage difference. Okay, hold on. Change my party. Let's try this. I'm gonna be awful at Lucario just because of Snorlax. Oh, this is what I needed. This combo. Oh gosh, nope. There we go. Oh my gosh, finally. Oh my goodness, that was a hard Snorlax. Jeez. Oh my goodness. I wasn't playing it smart. I really wasn't. I was just like, this isn't working, so let me do a bunch of stuff to make it attempt to work. Silver the Hedgehog! Easily distracted by items. Fist attack. Sure, fine, whatever. I'm not playing smart. Just give me the suggestions. So, I remember when I was a kid and I liked Yu Yu Hakusho and tried to talk about it with some of my classmates and it didn't work. <gasps> no! Oh no, the bees are after me! Missed. There's a bunch of weird items. Yes! Die, Sonic! <laughs> oh, I love the beetle. The beetle is the worst item ever, but I love it. Love it! Goodness, it's hilarious. Gosh, it's so great. 
Um, basically anything that's shown on Toonami, it was like, Toonami was great. Plessy! Hi, Plessy. The enemy is giant. Okay, no times, no nothing. We'll do that. Sure. Um, we used to watch Dragon Ball Z a lot. Dragon Ball Z was one of our favorite shows. That and Sailor Moon, like, together was fantastic. And when Pokemon came out, ugh! Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. We were obsessed with it. We took whatever we could get our grimy little hands on with Pokemon. The same with Dragon Ball Z. I remember watching, like, the Frieza arc and, like, oh my goodness. No, leave me alone, Plessy. Yeah, <laughs> Gosh, that looked really terrifying. Um, Samurai Jack was on Toonami, I believe. Gosh, Samurai Jack. Amazing show. Beautiful show. Loved every single second of it. Cartoon Network used to have a lot of really good shows. Now that I think back on it, Dexter's Laboratory, Powerpuff Girls. Again, maybe it's just, you know, the nostalgia in me. Let's go in the river. No? Yes. Esna. No, we're not doing that. Esna, hi. Oh, you're so cute. From Ever Oasis? Never heard of it. You constantly take minor damage, enemies, FP, powers quickly. Yes, perfect. We're jamming your signal, girl. Oh, you're such a cute little mermaid looking thing. Ready? You two make sense, Go! actually, awkwardly enough. You flowey. Oh, flowey! <laughs> No, stop. Bad, you two. There we go. No, don't toss me over. That's a cool move. I like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was really afraid of that one. Oh, you're so cute. Immunity to lava floors. Yes! That's what I need. I had like decreases, but I need something that gets rid of it and it's immunity. Ooh, Moltres. That's an old Moltres picture. Wow. Wow. All right. Who's the fighter in the river? Pikachu! It's your, Samantha, it's your main. It's your, your Pikachu. And I am Lucario. Pokemon battle. Another Pokemon battle. That is great timing. Come here, you little demon. I have nightmares of this, you know, because you've always been Pikachu. So every time I see Pikachu, I'm just like, no no one's as good as my sister. And I keep telling you that you need to, like, battle in, like, mash tournaments because you've mastered Pikachu over the years. Really, you use the down B a lot. <laughs> I know how you work. I've battled with you enough. Was it me or Pikachu? It was Pikachu. I'm sorry I defeated your main, but Pikachu is here! Well, one day I'm going to play as Pikachu, and then you get to tell me how awful I am <laughs> at your main. <laughs> but hey, you would never do this. You would never play World of Light or anything as like other characters. The last time we played Smash, you did try other characters, and you were just so bad. It was really funny to watch you. <laughs> Not to be mean-spirited or anything, but it was just really funny. Oh, Pico! He looks like Piccolo, and I almost said Piccolo. Alright, let's do this. Woohoo! We're on a roll now, now that we're not stuck with Snorlax, and I'm feeling better. This is great! Ready? Go! Gosh, Bowser looks a little menacing. No one can land a hit!
I like this stage. This stage is fun. I'm a little fast. Stop dodging me, Bowser! Get out of my face! Oh, <laughs> you hit yourself on it. Wow, okay. There we go. We got some weird alien thing from uh, F-Zero. <sighs> you know another Cartoon Network show that I really wish they made a sequel of? And I guess they were kind of close to it or they made some kind of teaser about it. Oh, I can go into the car now? Oh, we are so going into the car. We are so doing that. Uh, the show I was talking about, Kids Next Door. Kids Next Door was amazing. I loved Kids Next Door. I was really sad when it ended, and I loved seeing it. Nico Fire? Oh, from the Street Me Plaza. Okay, let's try this. Gosh, I always loved number one. Number one was one of my favorites, as well as number three. One, I think in order of the numbers, it was probably one, three, five, because one is, num not number one. I mean, number five is, whoa! Number five was the cool one. But we, I remember when we were growing up and, you know, we were like teens and we're starting to get ready. And I remember that when they were like, infiltrating her sister's room and they're like what is this and they're like oh it's a bra what does that mean battle ready armor <laughs> i will never forget that it made me feel so much better about having to wear one to be honest T tmi too much tmi <laughs> wow welcome to the channel where we talk about growing up in bras <laughs> thank you kids next door But I mean, that really made an impact on us as kids. You know another scene, notorious scene, that made an impact on us with bras? Lizzie McGuire, when she's just like screaming, I want a bra! And her friend is there, her friends are there, and her mom is there, and her dad, they're just like staring at her. Wow. Very notorious, such great scenes. Like, hilarious. And then again, makes you kind of feel better about growing up when people start talking about it. And you have some memes that you can reference. Never thought the conversation would dive into this. Oh boy. All right, but we're gonna change subjects because anyway, either way, KND was fantastic. It was kind of chaotic and I love that chaotic energy and rainbow monkeys, rainbow monkeys, which I guess is kind of like, um, stop it. You dropped your gun for me? I thought I had a timing right and I was wrong. Ah, no! <laughs> that was my own stupidity. That was completely my own stupidity. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's pay attention to the battle a little bit better, shall we? <laughs> Whoops. That killed him? Really? That was much faster than before. Mock Rider! Wow, you look so cool. I think I can do one more. I think maybe one more battle to win it. Should be good enough. Let's try it. We're going to push our luck. Let's see if we can do one more. One more. One more. Excite bike. Favor side specials. Of course Wario does. Fist two special. Okay. Let's see if we can battle against the motorcycle. 
Oh boy. Ready? Go! Oh, this is annoying! Gosh, are you all on your bikes at the same time? It's not timed at least, little Cretans. I like that he's like looking like trying to Come on. <laughs> oh, good combo. Love it. All right. Well, we're ending it there. Thanks for going down this memory lane of Toonami and shows and puberty. <laughs> Thank you, Lucario, for bringing us together. <laughs> so this is the last one for this video. Um, probably we're going to get to that, ne that new fighter by the time we... No, that's not what I want to do. We have three more fights over here, and then I'm going to double check to see if there's anything else I left on the left-hand side. Um, besides space, I know we have space to go through. And then I'm going to go to the right side. So, I'm going to end it here, sis. I love you, and Lucario is a Pokemon, so he just goes, Lucario!